Hello, this is Peter with Go Engineer, and today in this video, I'm excited to share a follow up on my previous drone video. The improvements I've made is that it now uses the DJI FPV system, as well as a GoPro Hero 11. I hope you enjoy this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really helps us out. Here in the rendering, you can see an improved frame. It has the adapter for both the GoPro as well as the DJI system. We're going to load this up in GrabCat Print, and we're going to repair all the models. Once we've done this, we're going to make sure that we have a solid infill for all the parts. This is to make sure that we get the most strength possible out of the parts. We're going to go ahead and send this to printer. It's going to be about a 15 hour print. Over at the Stratasys F770, we're going to be loading a build sheet. With this complete, we're going to apply a vacuum to it and close the door up. We're going to start a print, and we're going to place this on the right hand side of the printer. So here we have a time lapse for you to watch, so please enjoy it. With the print complete, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the printer. To do this, we're going to want to lift the build sheet out. I'm going to try and show the print as best as I can here. And then I'm going to be removing the support roughly so that we can move on to the next step. With the prints removed from the build sheet, we're going to see that there's some support material remaining. To remove the rest of this, we're going to take it over to the ultrasonic bath. We're going to place the pieces in the bath and once we've done this, we're going to place our mesh cage lid over the top. The purpose of this is to keep the parts from floating. We're now going to close the lid off, and we're going to start the ultrasonic. Once the ultrasonic cycle is complete, we're going to open up the lid. We're going to remove the cage mesh from the top, and we're going to pick out our parts. We're going to shake them off, and then we're going to rinse them under cold water to get the remaining solution off. We'll then take it over to the table after that. Now we are ready to assemble. We're going to get our body, our lid, the adapter plate, our flight stack, the DJI FPV system, our motors, the receiver, the GoPro, and finally the tools we need to assemble. We're going to start with mounting our adapter plate to our flight stack. We're then going to mount it on the drone and making sure that the battery input is facing toward where the battery goes. Once we've screwed this down, we're now going to put the motors on. To do this, we're going to insert the wires through, and then we're going to screw down the motors. We'll then pull it all the way through, and we'll repeat this process for each single motor. With the motor mounting complete, we're going to move on to the next step. This is going to involve using a soldering iron to solder the motor wires onto the flight stack. We're going to work our way through all these, and then we'll move on to the next part. Now that we've soldered on our motor wires, we're going to mount the capacitor as well as the battery input. I would recommend turning up your soldering iron heat for this step, as that will make it easier to solder. Next step is that we're going to be wiring up the DJI system, as well as the receiver. We're going to be able to find out where the colored wires go to using the SpeedyB manual online. Once we've wired this up, we can then plug it into the flight stack and we're ready to go. Now that the wiring is complete, we can move on to the lid. We're going to place the DJI flight stack on our adapter plate, and we're going to place the antenna through the back. We're then also going to start screwing down the lid, 
and then we're going to be mounting the camera as well after. We can now mount the GoPro on the front. After this, we're going to be zip tying down the wires, and this is going to ensure that they don't get in the way. And then we're going to add the propellers. Then we're going to make sure that they're spinning in the right direction, and then we're going to take it for a flight. Thank you for making it through the video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section below, and I'll happily answer it. If you can like and subscribe, that would be great, and I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day.